guys welcome to the channel um, today we're going to be doing an install of this guy from Big Tree Tech so it's an add-on to the Creality High printer and it's got a display that will display what it's doing in the thing so it's not a big um, mechanical change it's more of a, a whiz bang nice little display to put on your printer so we open the box up not much to it there's the cover and see the display, it's actually a, a um, LED display, not much to it, it's got a few cables, you've got a plug in and the display is just at the top there and you can see it's got a USB-C port right up the top just there, there's so your do updates, see how cool is that, uh, what else we got, we've got a, a little Allen key, anything else, that's it, it's an Allen key, the display and that's all we need to put on so really easy to do you've got a screw here and a screw there on the current one and we just replace it so let's go and do that okay guys so before we start if you haven't subscribed really appreciate it. if you've subscribed just hit the subscribe subscribe button down the below and while you're at there's a little bell next to it if you push that and go all um, that would mean that you're going to get all my um, updates when I post. I don't over post, I post when I've got something new to post and tell you about. Um, also a like if you like the vi video. I've also got some affiliate links down below. So if you need any of the Sunlu Creality filament or Creality printers or stuff, just use my affiliate links and it gives me a little bit of money for the channel and you get exactly the same price because you just sent off to the website to buy what you buy. So it's like a commission. Okay guys. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is turn off your printer. You don't want it on while you're plugging stuff in. Uh, get the little Allen key they gave you. And just undo the two, the two um, Allen screws that are on either side. One on this side. Now I've got a new thing. I, I use these little things to save on my screws in. It's just a, a thing off a paint can uh, or glue can. Mine's off but paint cans do the same thing. So they're not rolling around everywhere. Just plump them in the thing because I'm renowned for losing screws. <laughs> Screw on either side and it just falls straight off. Easy, easy, eh? So basically it's just going to fit over the top. I'm going to have to get rid of that. So that'll come off. So this little thing that runs will come off. And this will just fit over the top like so. Okay, but where do I plug these? Right, so let's get this out of the way. What we've got to do is the cable that runs up here, so this, the one that sits behind the, where the Bowden tube goes in, and plugs into the third socket on this side, so you unplug that. Pull it out. Just, some of them have got glue on them, so just, um, it's easy if you cut the glue before you pull it out, but. Okay, so there's this little cable here. So I've got to spare one of them now, that's cool. And what happens is it gets replaced by these two. Of course the longer one's going to go up the back there and the shorter one's going to plug into this little port here. So I'll plug that one in here. Short one in here. Like so. And the large one can come up the back here. Or the long one I should say. And plug it in the back. See what I'm doing? Can't see what I'm doing. Get a bit of light in there. All right. There we go. If you can see what you're doing, it's easier. The uh, longer of the plugs, uh, longer it plugs right at the back here, where you can see there. And the shorter of the one plugs in the third one here. So you got. One, two, th third plug, so it's this one right here. Okay, and they both connect up like that. And so it's like a little Y connection that you get with it. So one goes into the display, the other one goes into the power, and I gather the other one goes into the information slot at the back there. Okay, once you've done that, it's just a matter of sliding it back on, making sure that all the cables don't get mixed, caught up in anything. So one of the cables is going to stick out the end there, like so. 
and just put it on you put the two screws back on then we can turn it on okay so when you feed the cable just make sure it's not getting caught inside the cover here um, you don't want to pinch on anything so between the cover and where this this cable comes out you don't want to get caught in there so it's all nice and loose up the top here so I got a spare display cover and a spare little knob now oh and the best part is you got to spare one of these little cables because they're hard to find <laughs> okay so let's turn around and see what it does so first of all we scan the QR code okay so once you scan the QR code it'll ask you to go on the Wi-Fi check checking the quality of the internet connection so that's what it's doing once you've scanned the uh, the code you then come down into your printer and go into the little cog area to get into the network from there you can see that your what your um select the the coney high um icon and so i was on 3d for everyone yeah so i'm now going up to this one and it'll give you the it'll give you the ip address 192.168.254.3 now from there i'm going to go back into your phone you go into your browser um, well, first of all, you want to make sure that your phone is connected to the same network that your printer is connected to. From there, you then go into a browser. So it works the same way on um, on um, Apple. And you key in this number, but instead of having a three at the end, you put in a one, yeah? So dot dot two five four. And it's not going outside um, your house. It's basically staying in the local network. And like I said, instead of putting a three there, you put a one and you go enter. It'll come up asking you um, what language you want. You go into English. Here you can, you can select your network. So I might want it to go into 3D for everyone. And then you put in your password for your network. So I'll do that now. And once you put in your password, just go connect. Okay, so now it's bound to that network. So now I should be able to um, put this back onto the network that I'm used to. Wait for it to, there you go. Now it's joined up. Apparently it could take a few minutes for it to find it, so. Ah. It's got a response. And I can select printers. Now, this one is my fourth I. I know that because I've got the number four <laughs> written on it, so I know which one they are. So I pick four from the list. I pick the print I want it to bind to. Um, and then I get bind. And it's going to bind that display to this um, printer. And it's saying binding successful. And all done. Now, what you can do with this is, as you can see also, it's given me a reality display on my display there. You can change that. So let me have a look if I can figure out which one it is. You can put your theme on. Um, so it can only display percentages. You can put a picture on there or percentages and the GIF. So the GIF it's got at the moment is a reality one. I believe you can upload your own. Um, and you can get change colors so it's greenish at the moment let's go and make it a bit more so i get a red one see if that does anything let's have a look what it does so look at there now i've got a red display on it so you can change all your you can, like i said you can upload your own picture it's got up here upload a gif so if you make a gif you can upload a gif here um i'm not going to worry about that I might change the color though it looks pink so i'll change it to maybe blue oh yeah blue looks all right so if we go to blue it says uploading gif and there i've got a blue display now um ah. so it can actually change um your picture depending on whether you want it to if it's in standby it displays this one if the nozzle's heating up let's have a look if the nozzle's heating up i can just pick a gif from my phone yeah 
So let's put a picture of me. I can change them all. It's just the only one I've got at the moment. What did it say? Uh, the <laughs> file size is too big. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, so the file size has to be, what did it say it was? Uh, 1,815. Uh, it shouldn't exceed 1,536K. So um, if you're going to make a gift, just make it small. Um, these are all going to be too big. So I can change the color though, maybe. So if I want it to say the bed is heating, uh, nozzle heating, I'll make it red. Red, all the way over the red. Come on. Okay, confirm. They'll say blue, and I gather when I get the nozzle to heat. So let's try that. Um, I'll come back out on the display here, and I'll just go to the nozzle. Let heat the nozzle up to. No, it just it doesn't have to be too much because it should only heating. Let's see. Ah, and you see that it displays that it's changing. It's thirty-five at the moment. It's going up to fifty, and it's changed to red on the display. So that's what's going to do when it's doing it. At the moment, I've got. I haven't changed the bed one. So if I do the bed as well, change that up to thirty. So look. Yeah. Okay. Should also tell me the bed, and it should be in blue. Maybe. Maybe it's not doing it because I didn't do it high enough. Let's go to bed fifty as well. Okay. And you can see. It shows the black. I had to change it to 50 30, wasn't enough of a difference apparently. I pushed the wrong button. So it's saying the bed's heating, the nozzle's already heated, so it's not going to do that. Let's say if I change the nozzle again, I wonder if it will um, alternate between the two. Okay, so the bed's heating, and I'll now change it so the nozzle heats as well. But I think it can only show one. Oh, okay. Priority on the nozzle. Okay, so it can't do that. Right, what else can you do in here? Um, oh, well, that's a Wi-Fi thing. That's the passwords and stuff if you want to change it. Um, that's the printer. You can unbind and bind. So you've got the theme and you've got your settings. Oh, this is where you can do firmware updates and stuff. Okay. And reset it to factory um, settings. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, that's where you do all this stuff. And download an image so i can download an image uh the file will be generated based on your setting it may take some time depending on the network well okay so you can change all the colors of the display and all that sort of stuff oops go back to where it was you can change all the colors of displays and stuff through this which is pretty cool um print the progress so if you don't want the picture display and you only want the percentages um you can just come up here and just make that percentage only, and it will only stay on the percentages that are up here and just show you the percentages of stuff. Um, I don't know how it changes between one and the other. It's not a touch screen at all, Matt. So why isn't it showing the nozzle now? Why is it only showing the bed? Because the bed's changing, that's why. Nozzle's constant, the bed's just flickering around. So just change the bed off, but the nozzle hasn't done anything. Let's change the nozzle temperature. I'll change the nozzle temperature now to 120. And it's saying, yep, now the nozzle will um, show the nozzle because I'm doing something with the nozzle. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that is the um, Big Tree Tech Creator Nomi High. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so it's um it's $50 on the AliExpress link. I'll put... Um, a link in the description um, that Big Tree Tech have on their website. I'll do the website thing. They've also got a, um, I've just found it now, and I've been looking at how to get that up, <laughs> how to join the network, because I wasn't sure what, what they wanted you to do, and you need um, passwords, so it's got all the password in there. Basically, the password is 987654321, so 9 to 1 backwards is a password for the network. Um, the default. So once you change it to your own, then it's going to not be that anymore. Um, but um, on there, it's got a big detailed description of what you can do and how you can do it. So I'll put that link in the description as well. So go have a look, guys. And this is the um, one of those little updates you can do to your Creality High that makes it look pretty cool um, and gives you a few spares as well. So that spare cable, I'll say um, I had one where I might have pulled a little bit too much without cutting the um, 
cutting the glue and I pulled a cable out of the pain to get because you can't get it online. You have to go to Creality and ask them to send it. And there's a week of waiting for it to come. So I've got a spare of that. You've then got a spare um, cover. So those alone in Creality cost you the, the cost of what this costs with the display and everything in it. Um, so go to the um, Victory Tech site, have a look, see if you like it. Um, they will direct you to AliExpress to buy it because I think that's the only place they're selling it at the moment. Um, when I went to the site, it had a link and that's where it linked me to. Um, so if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're not following me, please follow me um, and subscribe. Um, I will have another one out. I'm doing a belt replacement on a K2 Plus, which is a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, there isn't one on the on the um, on the web. I went and had a look. I thought, oh, where am I meant to run this saw to? Couldn't find it anywhere. So I, um, I've got two Creality K2s. So I looked at one, looked at the other, saw where it all ran, and ran it myself. So save you doing that, especially if you haven't got another K2. Um, have a watch out for that. It'll be out in the next couple of days. Okay, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, bye.